Hello, thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this training, we're gonna be talking about custom fields on the phone burner side and how those custom fields relate to the fields that exist in your Zoho environment. And more specifically, we're gonna be talking about fields that may exist across multiple modules on the Zoho side. And at this point, you should have watched several of the other custom field videos as well. So I'm gonna assume you have some basic understanding of how the fields are flowing between the two systems, and we're just gonna take this a little bit deeper. So let's jump back over to Zoho. And here in Zoho, I'm in the developer tools. We're looking at the API names for the custom fields of contacts. If you remember, the API name is the name of the field that is sent over to PhoneBurner, and that's how we name the field on the PhoneBurner side. PhoneBurner does not get the field labels from Zoho. But how does this affect us when we're dealing with fields across multiple modules? If you're gonna be making calls to records from Zoho across different modules, whether that's leads, contacts, vendors, or any custom modules that you may create, you may end up with a lot of different fields on the phone burner side. And what I wanna do is I wanna give you a little bit of advice to help you try to mitigate the number of fields that will be created between Zoho and phone burner. And let's jump to a different module. Let's go to, let's say the leads module. Notice the API names. For example, last name is last underscore name. If we go back to contacts and we look for last name, you'll see it's last underscore name. It has the exact same API name, which means when that is sent over to phone burner, whether it's a lead or a contact, phone burner will create one field titled last underscore name. And when we post information back to Zoho, it'll post back to the last name field, whether it's a lead or a contact. If the API names are exactly the same, then phone burner will create one field on the phone burner side that sends data to either the lead or the contact module or record. So if you start creating custom fields on the Zoho side, Please take a moment to review any other modules that you have that may have a similar field and try to make sure that you name them exactly the same, if at all possible. It'll simplify how many fields are created on the phone burner side. Let me give you an example of that. Let's take a look at this one. So here you see I have custom multi-text on contacts. So I've added on, you know, on contacts for this instead of just calling it custom multi-text or custom date on contacts. So these, these three right here, I'll end with on contact or on contacts, custom checkbox on contact, custom date on contacts, custom multi-text on contacts. If I go back to the leads module, I have custom date, custom multi-line, custom text single line. These potentially could have all been labeled exactly the same as the contacts, but since they were not labeled or created the same on both modules, if I were to begin a dial session to a lead, I would end up with these custom fields created and managed separately on the phone burner side. So whenever you're creating a new field in any module in Zoho, try to make sure that you name it exactly the same as it may be named on any other module. That'll reduce the amount of custom fields that will be created on the phone burner side. So anyway, I hope that helps you better understand how the data, the custom fields flowing between Zoho and phone burner work to help you and your team stay as focused as possible when dialing. Thanks again and happy dialing.